Hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. And I'm laughing a bit because this wild card is really bad for this week, but it's a set and forget wild card. Every week I've been showing a set and forget, which is where if you've had enough of the game or you need to take an extended break, just set your team like this on your wild card and then stop playing. And the idea is between now and the end of the season, you'll do all right. You certainly won't finish last. You might be in the top half if you're lucky probably not top half you'll do all right the idea being if you set your team to this you'll do better than other people that just walk away because at least the team's all right however there are six teams not playing this week and this wild card draft includes quite a few of those players that are not playing so it looks silly it looks strange but for the remaining 31 weeks we have in the season i think this team's going to do all right based on the current knowledge we have also, as always with these set and forget videos, the bench is moderately okay because we're going to be needing the players as time goes by. Right, let's have a look at it. Starting with Arsenal, we have Saliba, Martinelli, Jesus. From Brighton, we have McAllister. From Chelsea, we have James. From Crystal Palace, we have Zaha. From Fulham, we have Andreas and Mitrovic. From Liverpool, we have Alisson, Alexander-Trent and Diaz. From Leeds, we have Meslier. From Man City, we have Diaz and Haaland. From Spurs, we have Perisic. So the forever starting eleven that I'm suggesting is you have Alisson at the back and then James, Trent, Diaz, Perisic. Zaha, Diaz, Martinelli in the middle with Haaland, Jesus and Mitrovic at the front. Now, as I say each week, because prices are going up, it's getting more and more difficult to get a decent squad of 15 players together. But I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. So there may be some people you think are quite important that aren't in, in here, but I'm working with 99 million here. Alisson isn't playing this week. James isn't playing this week. Trent isn't playing this week. Zaha isn't playing this week. Diaz isn't playing this week. So, so of the starting 11, looks like we've got six that would actually be playing this week. On the bench, we have Meslier, and then in order, I'm suggesting McAllister, Saliba and Andreas. But Meslier and McAllister aren't playing this week. So that's no keeper. So I think that might give us, at best, eight players playing this week. But remember, the idea is the remaining 31 weeks, everything should hopefully be okay. And all those players that aren't playing this week will of course naturally potentially have double weeks later in the season. The forever captain. If you've seen my videos before, you can probably guess who I'm going to search between Haaland and Jesus. And I'm going to suggest Haaland wears the old mule hat, which means Jesus gets the wee bonnet. There's a couple of other players we could have chosen, but I think Jesus is probably the safest bet playing for a decent club and he is a very good player. So there we have it, a 99 million set and forget video, which is rubbish for this week, but long term, I think it'll be all right. So if you're intending to quit or you know someone else who's intending to quit, then please send this video to them and say, look, just set it to this before you quit. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy this silly week. Bye.